and can be to many substances and other things including uh, alcohol, drugs, gambling, sex, eating. Uh, but what I was going to talk about today is mainly to addiction to alcohol and drugs. Hope is, is the key ingredient here because with the new developments and medications that we found to be effective for the treatment of addiction, the medications when used with good addiction treatment, including 12 steps, AA, NA, CA, um, can increase success up to upwards of 80%, wow. uh, something that we didn't think would really be possible five years staying ago. sober yeah. one day at a time is what helps them. But uh, initially when a person makes a decision to uh, get into recovery, uh, our goal is to help them uh, decrease cravings, uh, help them pre prevent relapse by giving them medications that can assist that. Yes. Medications, I should state, that are non-addicting, uh, in general non-sedating, and consequently it, it allows them to become uh, much more attentive in treatment Man, and goodness. helps that them think more clearly. Yes, uh, alcoholism alone, not to mention the other drugs, but alcoholism alone is the third leading cause of death in the United States behind heart disease and cancer. I had no idea. And it is, it is a very serious medical illness, um, as is cocaine addiction, heroin yes, addiction, yes, yes. Uh, uh, designer drugs such as ecstasy, mm -hmm. GHB. Uh, all those, however, Tom, it's very important that the public understands these are chronic illnesses. They're not going to go away right. with, a very, with a short amount of treatment. These, are, the patients and the family should understand that these, these illnesses are just like high blood pressure, diabetes, asthma. If you can understand the illness in the context of those chronic illnesses, your expectations of the addict and their recovery will be much more empathic. And you'll, and you'll give them more support when, you're, when everybody's on the same